Hey guys, JLB Zomba here. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a review of my Texas Chainsaw Massacre comics. I was meant to show these quite a while back, but uh, I put them down for some time and I just forgot to show them. So now I'm going to show them. Um, I also have uh, two other comics here to show you. I have uh, a Friday the 13th comic and a Nightmare on Elm Street comic. Um, these were pretty cool, but I decided to pick up most of the Texas Chainsaw ones um, over the past couple of uh, weeks as I bought them. Um, just because I, I prefer Leatherface over Jason and Freddy. Um, but yeah, uh, these are cool. Um, not to miss out on, but they are cool. So let's get straight on to the Texas Chainsaw comics. Um, now I've got two here unwrapped. I've taken these out of the cellophane just to show you what the images are like inside. Uh, so let's start with this one here. Great artwork on the front um, and on the back. Uh, more advertisements for more comics. As you can see there, more Friday and uh, Elm Street comics and of course uh, Texas Chainsaw comic. Um, the only downside I would say to these is that some of them are duplicates just with different covers and at the time I didn't realise that. Um, if I would have read uh, here, special one, uh, painted and stuff like that, I would have known that um, they are duplicates, but I didn't know that because I didn't read it at the time. So um, I'm not really bothered, I'm just because uh, I've got other, you know, additions or, or different covers, I should say, but I'm not really bothered because um, I like to collect different variants. Um, but uh, Quite some graphic imagery right here, as you can see, some dude getting a cleaver on his shoulder. And obviously, the main part of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface killing someone. So, um, great imagery. Uh, this one I have read, and it's pretty cool. Um, these ones are obviously based on the remake, um, the Hewitt family, because you've got the Sheriff and um, Thomas Hewitt there. Leatherface, but um, yeah, so that's one of them. Now, here's one called Fear Book, um, and this is a completely different story, completely different. What and um, this one I don't think I have read because I don't recognize any of the imagery. Fucking hell, um, yeah, that took me by surprise. Oh, look at that, chainsaw with his leg off. Yeah, I don't recognise any of the imagery. So, um, yeah. And uh, Leatherface, obviously, took his face off. And um, put the other dudes on. So, yeah, really graphic um, imagery. It means, like, what do you expect? It's Texas Chainsaw. But um, yeah, really, really cool. Okay, so let me show you some of the uh, ones in the cellophane. Uh, like I said before, uh, some of them are duplicates. But here we go. So here's one. This is a uh, special one, Gore. And this one is the same one as this one, because they are both uh, special issue number one. Uh, this is my favorite cover. This is why it's on top. And, um, yeah, just really graphic and um, excellent. Here's a special one again. Uh, just a generic image of Leatherface. Now, here's the limited collector's edition of special one with the shiny red foil. And on the back is where it really shines because you get a certificate and it says... Certificate of Authenticity. This hereby certifies that the enclosed copy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Issue Number 1 Blood Red Convention Foil Edition is only one of only 1500 copies printed. So I'm really happy to have one. And uh, yeah, really happy. But I, well, no, I don't just have one, I have quite a few uh, certificate ones. So that's pretty good. So, um,. That's a really good one. 
here's another one. Uh, this is a great cover. I love how it's just like, you know, on the the bloods on the blade and everything. Really, really cool. And um, this one is a thousand instead of uh, fifteen hundred. This one's a thousand, so copies printed. So that's a plus. So it's a great cover. And this one is a totally different story. Uh, here's the certificate. And uh, this one's a different story because this comes from the grind. Totally different stories. And I have read this one, and uh, this one's pretty cool. But again, it's all based on the remake. So uh, that's this one. Here's another issue of the grind. Uh, this is issue one. Um, don't know what to think about this cover. Um, I'm not really keen on it, but um, all of the comics that were available in the shop, I kept going in each week and um, having at least two. Or it was either two or three each week, and uh, they're all gone now because I've taken them. But um, yeah. Um, they don't even have any more uh, horror comics now. They're all like Batman and Robocop and stuff like that. Although they did have... Uh, what was it? Robocop vs. Terminator, I think. Um, which I just put down. Because uh, I didn't really want that one. It'd be cool if they had Alien vs. Terminator though. Whatever. Um, off topic. But this is a really good one. Uh... Again, with the grind, uh, th these two covers, I don't know what to think about them. I, I just, they're not my favourite at all. However, this one is really cool. You've got the Texas uh, flag there, uh, or the, the image on the map. And when you open it, Leatherface is behind it. And this is totally separate, so that's really cool. So that's that one. Um, here's another one. I really like this uh, cover. I think it's pretty cool. And then you've got the Hewitt uh, house on the back, so that's pretty cool. This one's alright, I suppose. Yeah. Not too keen on this cover. Um, I, you're probably thinking, if you're not too keen on the covers, why did you get them? I don't know. I just, I, I think I'd never seen them before, and I just wanted to get as many that was there. So yeah. Is, I always love this one. Um, even though these are from the remake, that looks like um, Drayton Sawyer. The sheriff looks like Drayton Sawyer. Jim Sido. Um, and uh, obviously, Leatherface there is from the remake. But uh, yeah, always question that. And then we've got this one. And then finally, the two that I showed in the beginning. Uh, these ones are actually pretty cool. Uh, the Jason one's pretty good. Jason one. But um, I apologise if I didn't show all the imagery and stuff. It's because it, it would take me, like, it's a pain to get them back in the cellophane because they always end up sticking to the tape and because there's tape on the back of the cellophane to keep them sealed and they always end up getting stuck to there and then have to you know so it's a real pain to get back in but other than that if you're a texas chainsaw fan i really recommend these comics um if you're a jason fan or a freddy fan i recommend picking them up if you can find them um i'm really surprised that i don't have any uh alien and predator comics because uh, there's loads of them the only one i have is a uh, thrill of the hunt it's it's like a, it's not exactly got one of these comics. It's more of a, a little book, but um, still good. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, sorry if I went on a little bit too much in this review, and I'm sorry if I didn't show everything that um, you wanted to see. But um, that's been a little review of my Texas Chainsaw Massacre comics. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.